what's up everybody it's your boy getting a game welcome to another video today in this video i'm going to be explaining all parking violations um so during this shift i'm going to be um looking for various parking violations and just uh explaining how you go about issuing those um parking violations there can be a difference when it comes to towing and not towing and of course i want to take the um pv here just in case i decided to uh tow some cars or not tow cars move some cars so um the first thing i do want to address when dealing with parking violations is the parking signs um so you will see there's plenty of signs along the roads um and if you use that intuition button to zoom in it tells you the parking rules for that street so here as you could well i'm not sure if you can see on your end but this parking sign says no parking from 8 8 a.m to 12 noon on a tuesday so in the upper top left hand corner of your uh sh other screen you should see um the time and the date now unfortunately the date in my game is stuck i don't know how to address that or fix it so if you're having a, um having this problem as well um unfortunately i don't have any uh point of advice to give you but so it tells a day too so the day is saturday so if you're dealing with cars that are parked in this area they um are allowed to again you just got to refer to the date on the top left corner of your screen so we continue to drive along uh this whole entire street is is parking signs telling you that there are um, there's no parking here from 8 to 12 noon on a Tuesday now Let's explain the other parking sign and then I look for some violations This is another parking sign you will see uh, uh, Frequently throughout the game um, It's uh, a tow zone parking um, a, It's a tow zone parking sign so When you see this the one the sign on top of it says no stopping at, at um, no stop at any time tow zone so pretty much what it's saying is if a car parks from here anywhere like pretty much after the pole you can write them a ticket for um, no parking it's going to be a special ticket for no parking for parking it is going to be um, parking in the no parking zone and you could tow that car and so you want to look for the I believe that's the other sign you want to look for the other sign right here where it ends so it's saying anywhere between this pole and this pole if a car is parked you can tow it doesn't matter what the day is okay so um, just be a just uh, keep that in mind um, in regards to this, so you have right now we have two violations in effect um, regarding this area. So uh, this street alone, no cars can park 8 a.m. to 12 noon on a Tuesday. However, this section here is also uh, it's 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 also adding another um, it's also a form of another violation. So if any car is parked in between these two poles at any time um, you can you can uh, tow the car and issue for parking in no parking zone so I just want to explain that it was brought to my attention um, and as I go on I will, uh, and I see different uh, parking signs I see those as well uh, like for example let's go here and we see that there's a handicap there's a handicap parking sign so again you see the arrow pointing to my left so and then you 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 always find the adjacent sign to it and 
the arrows pointing right. So any car parked in between, any car parked between this pole hey, and that it. pole that doesn't have a handicap placard or handicap plate, you can uh, issue a ticket for uh, parking in a handicap spot and you could tow that car as well. All right. So let's drive around and uh, look for some parking. Uh, let's look for some parking violations. See how many parking tickets we can give out. So I'm used to just picking things up like fairly quickly. I mean, as you play the game, you could, you could uh, you'll catch on very quickly. So uh, the meters is a big thing too. Uh, just bear in mind if you if you uh, come across a vehicle that's parked in front of an expired meter. You can issue a ticket, but you you're not prohibit you're not um permitted to tow it. So this car is fine. As you can see, the meter is green, valid. So let's go move on. All right. Now I believe this car is parked on the street. So, again, this car is not parked in a tow zone because it's saying from here to here. However, this car, it's two violations that this car is facing. So, one, it's parked in front of an expired meter. So, you're going to issue a ticket for an expired meter. And number two, it's parked on the street. So, anytime you see a car parked on a, not parked on the street, it's parked on like the curb. So, anytime see a car parked on a curb like that you're gonna do this you're gonna go parking ticket position and it's gonna be on the sidewalk so there you go so it's too close to the sidewalk and also you're gonna issue a parking ticket for um, the parking meter being expired now again keep in mind those violations um, do not uh, authorize a tow. Um, in order for in order um, for you to like tow a vehicle, the vehicle has to be parked in a special parking zone. So here are all the parking violations that you can tow for, and it's pretty much going to be your special parking zone. And in addition to that, I, uh, a little correction: anytime you see an expired license plate. You're gonna um, tow for that. You're gonna tow that car as well. So just keep in mind, parking meters, expired parking meters. You're not gonna tow for. And uh, position and alignment, you're not gonna tow for. Um, only time you're gonna tow, and we're just we're, we're um, specifically talking about parking here. You're gonna tow for expired plates and special parking zones. And if you or if you're at a motor vehicle stop and you stop somebody and they have a spire plate, yes, you can tow that car as well for the spire plate. So we issue that car two tickets. And we just, we just check the corner and see if we find anything around here. I got my call outs uh disabled so we just focus on parking today let's see what this sign says okay we got again a tow zone and again it's a Tuesday 8 to 12 so sometimes what I like to do is drive by see if I can see now sometimes it's hard to see whether uh, the meters are expired so you may have to get out the car and quickly Hi, do this sir. A quick scan. Um, also, if you want to, when um, when you're doing some parking enforcement, you can always check the plates and make sure that the uh, that the plates to the vehicle are valid. So that's July 2024. Um, unfortunately, I'm stuck on April 29th to April 29th, 2023. So. Yeah, so anything after that, I can tow. Oh, just had a drug deal. 
Oh, she's going too cool. Oh, I missed. Okay. And again, I'm going to be focusing on parking, but if we come across some some craziness such as that, we uh we we'll do our best to uh <laughs> apprehend. But uh, we're gonna let her go. Focus on parking. I almost got her. So let's see. That's a valid. That's valid. That's a valid meter again. You just want to uh, really pay attention to like the uh, angle, the position of the vehicle. As you can see here, this car is parked on the on the um, on the sidewalk. I say curb, but it's sidewalk, and that's going to be again position alignment. Issue a ticket for that, and it's not going to be. It's not going to be a. Uh, not gonna um, tow it. That's not a. It's uh, not a, a fence you could tow. Um, if you look clearly on this guy's license plate, it says a taxi. So this is a. Uh, this car does is a taxi service uh, vehicle. Hey, officer. And help. if you want to investigate more, you can run the plates, and it'll tell you everything about the owner. And the owner has a spire me, ID. Can you help me, oh man, invalid insurance. You won't be able to issue for invalid insurance, um, because the person's not. It's not uh, me, person's not driving. Me, um, that's more of a movement violation. Uh, if you see that Excuse a vehicle. Me, Could you help me out, please? Um, again, if you check and see that the registration is um, invalid, then you could tell. So, we're getting a lot of common um, violations. I want to get something different, um, just in guy, just in case you guys um, encounter a violation you may have not written or you don't write as much. So. Let's see. Ooh, we got a bad accident here. Uh, too bad we can't call for backup in this game. Let's look. Okay. Let's see what the rules are for these parking signs. Uh, again, I believe it's... Again, that's a Tuesday, too. All right. Oh, wait. We may have a tow. No. Alright, that's Tuesday as well. Alright, checking the handicap, that's fine. Right. Check these cars. Most of them are they're valid. Okay. We may have a we may have a tow here. So here's a side tow is on. Uh, this is a taxi stand. So this car cannot be here unless it's a taxi. So again, from so it's saying from from this pole to this pole. Uh, a vehicle cannot be parked in this area unless it's a taxi. Well, let's make sure. And this vehicle is definitely a taxi. It says it on this license plate. Um, sometimes they have a sticker on their windshield. If you see a shift sticker on their own windshield like that, that means that it's a taxi. So this car is good to go. It's it's okay to it. That car is authorized to be in that uh be in that parking spot. Alright. Alright, so let's see if we can find some other violations here.
FC. Oh, traffic pretty much clear. Here, I see a car parked here. Let's see. Yep, the meter's good. Alright, uh, that. Okay, so that. Let's see if this. Let's make sure this van over here is. Uh, yeah, I believe it's valid. It looks it looks green from here. You can always get out and check. Yep. Always check the plate. Uh, plate is good too. 2024. Okay. So I do see a violation up here. And this one's going to be parked in the wrong direction. Okay. And as I'm going through these streets, I'm always checking these signs. See, it says no parking 12 to 4 on a Monday. Now, at the very bottom, and you're not going to be able to see it, it says street cleaning. So, say if we did have a car uh, parked here during that time from... Um, between 12 to 4 and it was a Monday then we had issued a car for a special parking zone and it would be a emergency no it would be street cleaning okay so let's keep that in mind so this car is, is okay alright so if you notice there's a big gap the car should be the car should be parked like a car should be parked like this they shouldn't be on the sidewalk but there should be uh you know there should be like uh about a you know there should be a small gap between um this you know the where the vehicle's parked and the um sidewalk but this is a big gap right here so for cars like this, we're going to issue a parking ticket for, no, it's going to be position, but being uh, too far into the street. And a problem with this one here, this car is parked in the opposite direction. It should be facing the other way, like these What's other cars like here. That? So hey. we're going to do... Uh, parking ticket position and alignment again and wrong direction okay let's see if we can find some um more violations more parking violations some different ones uh okay here's a there's another common one that car right the car right here um now There's two problems with this car. Number one, it's it's parked too close to the uh, cr to the crosswalk, so we could tow for that. And number two, as you can see, it's parked um, right in front of a fire hydrant. Okay, so we could issue for again the fire hydrant. I wish we could. Oh, so that's a glitch. It's a glitch because. Uh, it gave me negative five points for issuing a fire hydrant. Um, maybe because the game is saying you no, know, your park it's parked too. It's uh, picking up the the crosswalk violation as a primary, but that shouldn't be. Uh, that happened. That happened to me before. I had a feeling that was going to happen again, but we should get the crosswalk too close to a crosswalk. Your shift is over. And now we could ask for a tow. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? I have a vehicle here that needs towing. Negative. Your location is currently unreachable. We'll so, um, as soon as possible. yeah. So, if you write, a, if you if you encounter something like this, you have a vehicle in this position, and you write for the fire hydrant, and you lose negative five points. It's not you. It's the game. It's something that needs to be fixed. But in this scenario, you should be able to. Uh, Ticket, not only ticket, tow for either violation. 
Okay, so all right, our shift is pretty much over. Um, let's just go over um, some violations that we may have missed. We dealt with expired. No, we didn't deal with expired plates yet. We deal with expired meters. Dealt with those, dealt with that. And let's see what else. Alright, these meters look good. Alright, so now, again, we have handicap parking only. Starting at this pole down to this pole here, right? So this van cannot be here unless it has handicapped plates. And look, it does. Now, uh, you guys can't see it, but on my end, the vehicle has handicapped plates. Uh, let's just run it and make sure. Let me see if it shows up. Uh, when you do the background, it doesn't show up that it's uh, has handicapped plates it's not going to show up it's just going to show the license plate so you have to look on the plate however you see the registration status on the right it says invalid so can we tell even though the car is parked um it's authorized to park in that handicap area yes you still can tell because um it has invalid um invalid registration which is the same as the expired license plate so I'm going to hit it with a uh, Spire license plate, and then we'll call for a tow. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? I have a vehicle here that needs towing. Tow truck will be at your location. So right off the bat, when I was issuing a ticket to that vehicle, I, I also noticed that this vehicle, um, it has a, a handicap, it's a handicap plate as well, but, uh, it has a um, expired plate now just to give you guys a hint oh, yeah. um a little hint when looking for expired plates i pointed this out in my previous videos but anytime all right so in the upper right hand corner of a license plate um uh, there's um a sticker with the year on it um those the years are color coded so anytime you see like that dark that dark color there it's like a dark gold um, or brown that means it's a uh, 2022 most of the time it's gonna be expired uh, if you look at this one anytime you see an orange that's 2024 uh, I believe uh, I think I believe yellow I believe pink is 23 and yellow is 21 um so let's keep that in mind that that's another way you can um point out if a plate is expired or another way of telling you what's you know what's the year on that vehicle so we're going to issue a ticket for this vehicle as well And we're gonna ask for a tow. I got a car here that needs towing. Can you send a record to my location? Sure, it'll be with you shortly. All right, so let me move out the way. It looks like our shift is over, so I'll start heading back. Let the tow take care of this. So as I head back to the precinct, we're going to look for a few more violations. Wow, we got both tow tr trucks going. Beautiful. The van is gone. It's gone. So sad for that pickup there too. It's going to. Alright, so 
Here we go. Another comment. Okay, it says pulled over. I thought it was parked. All right, so this. They were just stopped there. So this is another combo a bus a bus lane. I don't know why we have bus lane, but there's no buses in the game. But if you, anytime you do see a vehicle parked in a bus in that in that spot, you can issue and tow. Okay. Now, when you see cars parked on the street like this, especially look at this vehicle parked right in front of the store. Um, it's going to be a uh, the violation for this is going to be park it's going to be a special parking zone and it's going to be no parking zone you want to issue for that now you can um call for a tow truck and get the points but they're never going to uh, from my experience they're never going to tow a vehicle that's parked too far on the street like this i got a car here that needs towing however to my location there's a traffic jam in your vicinity. The tow truck will be sent to your location as soon as the route is clear. That's when the MPV comes in, right? And say... Again, say you wanted to... Oh, I should have stayed in the car. So say you wanted to attempt to move this car into the street. It's going to be hard. But... You will just interact. Uh, let me see something. Please cancel the tow truck. We no longer need it. All right, let's see if we can copy that. Tow truck canceled, officer. All right, so we canceled the truck, the tow truck. Okay, but say if we want to attempt to get this car moved into the street to be towed. Just want to make sure. Now it's possible, but it'll take me some time. But let's wanted to let's show a quick example here. You want to interact, hit tow vehicle, and now you see I'm the vehicle is hooked. And now you just hold down triangle on PlayStation or Y or Xbox. Now it's gonna drag that vehicle. You see? And attempt to now, from my experience, any time I did was able, I was successful at dragging a vehicle far enough to get to the street and call for a tow truck, it did not let me. So, um, again, I think I'm too far out, but hey, you just want to make sure you're close enough and that you have a good angle to uh, to move the vehicle. And we'll do it. Uh, we'll try one more. At least one or two more attempts, attempts here. I think I'm probably still too far out. You see? If you see a grayed out, that means uh, you're not close enough or your angle is wrong. You want to make sure it's like white. Highlight it white and see I'm still off. Okay. So... It's going to be a hassle getting this car into the street and possibly getting towed because, they, again, they don't respond all the time. But I uh, just want to show an example real quick. All right. Now, so, yeah. So that's most of your common uh, parking violations here um I'll stop right here and we'll do these cars and then we'll just let's go over the violations I did not I did not um uh, encounter but I you explain them a while back now, officer. Return to the police station immediately. so again in this situation here this car will be getting two tickets for the aspire meter we're not gonna tow for this you're not gonna tow for the aspire meter you can't and you're gonna buy a ticket for position alignment, which is on the sidewalk. And you can't tow for that as well. You can always check the plate to see if it if it's expired. 
Um, and let's just go over other violations. So, so we went over position and alignment. We went over expired plates. Those are towable offenses. You can always tow for the expired plate. We went over parking meters. Special parking zones. Uh, so we went over bus stops. Anytime you see a vehicle on a bus stop, there's no exemption for bus stops. So e even if you see like a person with a hand, even if you see a vehicle with a handicap plate parked in a bus stop, you can still tow it. Okay, and that's the same thing for uh, your expired plates. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. It's the same thing for your expired plates. Anytime you see a vehicle. Uh, with expired plates, whether it's a taxi or a vehicle with handicap plates, there's no exemptions there. You can always tow for that. So special parking zones, any any one of these violations, you're always going to tow for. Okay. Um, now to address the taxis again, if you see a car that's parked in the taxi zone. And a plate does not say taxi or does not have a, sh a sticker on the windshield that says like shift you could tow that vehicle and you could ticket and tow for that vehicle um, emergency access um, you don't come across those too much but you're gonna see to get that violation again you want to look at these signs here you will see the street cleaning I believe some of them say um, may say emergency access only so like like for this this uh this sign here perfect perfect example it says no parking emergency vehicles only so no car should be parked in a red so from this pole to this pole you can um issue um you can issue for hold on i'm sorry yeah from this pole here i'm sorry to this pole you could you could um, issue for that violation again, emergency sure. access okay so you always want to make sure you uh, look at that sign keep in mind what day what time and day it is um, and that's pretty much it guys for parking if, if you feel so there's anything I missed um, let me know any additional comments I would greatly appreciate that and once again it's your boy getting a game another tutorial video I hope this video has served you guys well and stay tuned for more on the next one. Thank you so much for my supporters and my subscribers out there. Also, I'm going to leave a link to my Discord page. If you check out that, uh, check out my Discord. Um, I have more news and updates in regards to Police Simulator and um, similar police games out there. Again, thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful day.